in these next series of videos, I'm gonna break down how you guys can hit your own stinger shot. Alright guys, in this episode I'm gonna talk about sniping. The most common question that everybody always asks me is, Kyle, how do you snipe? How do you hit that sniper shot? How do you hit that stinger shot? And before we get into this guys, all the links down below, this is all the equipment that I use for these films, also some of the equipment that I have in my bag, uh, any of the apparel shirts, all this stuff can be found down there. I, I gotta tell you, the sniper is probably one of the hardest shots you can, you can hit in golf. I would suggest anybody who is just beginning Skip past this video, go to an instructional video that teaches you the proper grip, setup, all that good stuff, because this video is only gonna, gonna confuse you. Ball flight is everything. Everybody wants to hit the ball low. Everybody wants to be able to hit the ball high when they can. Everybody wants to curve it left or right. There's a lot of bit different variables. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three steps. One, two, three. On how to snipe and to make it as easy as possible for you guys. So step number one, background. Now this is a giant storm that's headed directly my way. So I gotta film this quickly before this thing actually approaches me. The background is extremely important when you're trying to film these sniper shots. Why? Because this is what actually allows you to see the ball as it travels throughout the entire screen. If I don't use a dark background, then it really doesn't look that cool. You see the swing and you see the impact, but you actually can't see the flight of the ball unless you have a dark background as so. You probably see a lot of the ones that I do where you see the buttes in the background. I love using the buttes as a background just because it's got a very, very dark image and with the white ball or the yellow ball, it really picks it up and it follows it throughout the entire shot. found your solid backdrop, you're ready to go, you're ready to snipe, what's the next position? What's the next step? This is step number two. Step number two, ball position. Ball position, just like in any other swing, is extremely important in the sniper shot. The easiest way I approach my ball position is starting off with my feet together with exactly everything right down the middle of the line. So this is a driver, so I'm gonna move it up in my stance just a smidge versus if I was playing a two iron stinger. Boom. Middle of my stance right here. Now I'm gonna keep my head in that same position the entire swing. So now that you got your backdrop, dark backdrop, ball position in the middle of your stance, and this is the third one, and in my opinion, probably one of the most important. It'll also take the longest time for you to accomplish, but stick with it. Every one of my sniper shots, notice where my hands finish at the end of my golf swing. As you will see, at impact here, and my hands coming this way, with that shaft pointing straight up this way. When you see that finish, that means that my hands at impact did not release through the ball this way. It would be right here and I would pull through this way versus being at impact right here and letting my right hand flip through the ball. So for this shot, when you're learning this, pay attention to everybody's follow through. Tiger did it the best. When he hit a stinger shot every single time, his finish was right here. This is one of the most important parts because this is what keeps that club face square the entire time. Now there are many ways to go about learning how to do this. The way I learned was just using my left hand. For about two years, I did nothing but use my left hand. When I would practice my golf swing, left hand. When I would brush my teeth, I would use my left hand. Therefore, at impact, instead of flipping through the club ball this way, I pull through with my left hand, leaving my right hand right here. 
So pay attention to the finish. And that's what I want you guys to work on when you're trying to do this. If you put all three of those things together, especially the ball position and holding that finish off, you're gonna probably see a little bit better results in that ball flight. That's in. Hope that helped you out, guys. Follow those three instructions. Get yourself a nice dark backdrop, find your ball position, and then work on that finish. If that doesn't help you, watch another one of these videos. Go subscribe, watch that video, check out those links below, like this video, leave a comment, do all those good things, be a subscriber. You guys have a great day.